Hello and welcome. This is Sahara with another ed episode of Legends of Isenwald. And we are coming down here to speak to the... We just got rid of the Divine Scrooge. Scrooge? Scourge, whatever his name was. And now the priests will not heal me because I won't pay him any money. So now we need to talk to the witch again. The Divine Scourge is dead. Delightful, you have done me a good turn and I will keep my promise, but be careful. The water of the Well of Stars isn't simple water. It can heal, but it can also poison. It can give life, death, or immortality. Oh, interesting. Immortality? Well, at first it is useless and has an unpleasant odor. Only after a spell has been cast will it grant its miraculous qualities. If you whisper correctly over any water, it will cure many diseases. But this water was exposed to starlight and it makes any spell a hundred times stronger. This water is the key to an enchanted forest. Perhaps you know that deep in an oak grove grows a crystal apple tree. Yes, we do. If you pour the starry water over the place where the invisible path lies, many flowers will blossom from it like tiny stars. That's why it turns out that if you get this water and cast a spell over it, you can see a path to immortality. So that explains it. I think I can guess why Endelin desires this water. Thanks for your help, uh, Igna. Ig, Ig, yeah, Igna. <clears throat> if I happen to need that water, I will drop by. For now, I must think over what I've heard. True, he wants immortality. Hmm. So, either Indolin was struck by a serious disease and needs healing water, or his disease is pr or his disease is pride that borders on madness, and he seriously believes that he can become immortal if it may be that he's got both. Anyhow, I must verify my suspicions. The easiest way is to send a letter to Enderlin indicating that I've got the crystal apple. If he believes it, well, then that is exactly what he is looking for. So, I have to send a letter to Enderlin? Hmm. Um, you've heard... Um, okay, I killed him. Oh, there's the apple tree. The apple tree. Well, the magic apple tree. Or, that's the, um... The magic, where is it at? Daniel's... Okay, it was down here. The name of the inn was a magic apple tree. There it is. Yep. Okay. Okay. So, messenger, for a few giddens, I'll bring any message to, in no time for your grace. I'll do this. I'll set up a meeting with Ramig in a certain place and see if he turns up or not. If he comes, that means Enderlin really is searching for the apple. Sir Red... I can never get these names right. Sir... Raymig, an apple awaits, delicate and clear as crystal with golden seeds. Should you wish to acquire such a rare treasure, meet me a night in the forest in the north, next to a large stone. We'll agree on the price, only one condition, just you and me. In the north, so I have to go by myself to a stone in the north, forest. You hand the sealed envelope to the messenger. He bows and leaves the tavern at once. Now all you need to do is go to the stone at night and see if the weasel is waiting for me there. Okay. Any more rumors? No. No, I've already heard that one. In fact, we got rid of that one because of the... Alright, so I need to go back up this way. Which way am I going? I'm going to go this way, right? Yes. Oh, we got somebody moving around here behind me. You know, I like to do... Oh, come on. Quit. All right. I'm off the trail. Where are we at? Oh, I saw something in red up here. No, oh, he disappeared! Hmm... They do that, don't they? They just up and disappear. Just like they re just like they appear because they're spawned. Alright, let's just go on. Oh, there he is. There he is. Weirdos. <laughs> they're called weirdos. Okay. Okay, weirdos. <laughs> Greetings, Korean Von Lonstein. A good night. 
Don't you think? This is Vampire Lord. What? Perhaps to whom uh, have I the honor of speaking? Remember your friend Claudius? You might not care for the death of one of your, of your people, but you are nothing like... Okay. You might not care for the death of one of your people, but we are nothing like you. We don't forgive those who destroy our kind. Oh, so I'm going to be haunted by them all the time now? That's interesting. They're going to keep coming after me? Well, none of them are spirits. That's Marcus. Let's just get him out of there. He's a necromancer, so we didn't want him anyway. They are doing some damage. Wow. Okay. They are doing some damage. And we're not doing much damage to them. So, all right. He needs healed. Let's get you out of here. Okay. Okay. Yes. No, don't you be killing him. I think maybe you do defense stance. And go ahead and see if we can take him out. Oh, damn it. Yeah, he's done now. I'm pretty sure of it. I am pretty sure of it. over here. Just mow them over. Alright. Um, I thought he would be dead. I thought he would be gone out of there. He's died quite a few times. 732. Well, you know, for 732. Hmm. So what do we want? A paladin or we want a knight? He is a paladin. Paladin is... They get um, fearless, god's warrior, ramming attack, which we already have, as a Knight, they get defense stance, noble, ramming attack, which already has powerful strike, shield. I think this one also gets powerful strike too. Mace strike, two handed swords. Ooh, that's right. He doesn't have that with this one, he just has a cowbell strike. A two-handed sword strike is amazing. That's what he has. But he doesn't... He does still have a shield, even though he's got two-handed. A6. 89. 60. 63. Actually, this is better. We're going to go ahead with the knight for him. Alright. And, um... Hmm... And I'm going to go ahead and pay him his ransom. Because I need healed. <clears throat> Alright. I'll donate. But it better not be more than once. You've changed your mind. That is good. I've always said that preaching works miracles and can pluck the bestest and most sinful souls from the devil's arms. Yeah. Really. But yet, then you didn't want to heal me. There we go. Yeah. You had 
Oops, you can use this one. Okay. All right. So we need to go up to the north woods by a large stone, but I have to be by myself. I wonder where these vampires are coming from. I mean, they have to be staying somewhere at night, right? Or during the day. They can't come out during the day. Lost my clearing, who cares? So the north field, oop, I just saw somebody in. Ooh, there's a whole bunch of people here. Forest Brotherhood. I like fighting, so that's why I'm fighting. Why be here if you're not fighting? Come on. By the hill. Because you don't belong here. It also teaches you tactic. Can you fight? Come on. You're probably going to give up anyway. Yep, they did. And there was another one wandering here. I saw it. There you are, down here. Runaway peasants. Of course you're going to go into a tower, aren't you? You did, but then you're not in there. Hmm. Okay, so the North Woods, a large tower, or large stone. I'm, it's getting darker. I need to go to the large stone in the forest. If Endolin really needs that apple and has sent the weasel to wait for me in the forest, he'll probably wait for me every night, but I shouldn't tempt my fate. Perhaps he will decide I am bluffing and give up on me. Yes, and where is it at? That's what I want to know. There it is. Clear over here. I'm getting there. But I need to... I need to drop off. These are mine, right? Alright, so I have to go alone. So... Drop them off here. I'm assuming this is what we're supposed to do. And then go up this way. And where is that large stone at? It's up here. Quit it. Oh, no. Really? <sighs> this is just not right. Sorry, I got to restart that because um, <laughs> that was not the way it was supposed to be. Now I don't even know where I'm at. Okay. What? No, no. Okay. Wait a minute. This auto save. Oh, yeah. Okay. The... Um, go to the large stone, which is where, okay, that's where I'm still trying to get to. Where am I at? There I am. I'm by myself. 
Okay, so I should just be able to go this way? Am I going the right way? It's where up here. I'm going away from it. So it must be this way. Is this the large stone they're talking about? Am I getting close to it? No, it's down. How am I getting away from it? No. Ah. Okay. Take my bearings. Where am I at? Hmm. Okay. So this is, there's a beggar there, the settlement of outlaws. So it's, this is the cursed mill. Okay, this is the cursed mill, and I need to go up where the settlement of outlaws is at. Oh, okay. Here we go, up here. Juliana, is that you? Who else would it be? Annalyn never needed the water itself, did he? He needs the apple, correct? First, tell me if you have it. You think I'd carry it with me? It is in a safe place, but I need to know if that is what your master is looking for. Damn you, have it your way. Yes, Annalyn is looking for it. Satisfied? You won't get away from me until you give me the apple. Sorry, I have other plans. I found out what I wanted, so now, farewell. Oh, no, you won't get away so easily. Damn, how did he manage to hide his men? They don't call me Weasel for nothing, eh? I must escape. Okay, it's moving on its own. Armed men gather ahead, slipping from bushes and tall grasses that borders the road. Oh, no. Okay, well, why am I going this way? Run if you want, you won't get far. The Weasel. Yeah, where am I going? There's an old hut up here. Corinne, here. Berthold? What the heck are you doing here? You're supposed to be after me. Berthold? Who are these dogs? At them. Fear not, we'll break through. We've prevailed before and we'll do it again. Really? Okay, so you're now in my party? Oh, and who... And Zenter? I've got Zenter and Berthold. Really? Um. Okay. Oh, he needs his horse. A better horse. Why, why am I giving him stuff? Well, it's got to be better than what he's got. Let's just put it that way. And it's not working for me, so. How about you? Do you need anything? Huh. With you? I don't know. All right. Look at all we got to fight. Okay, let's go ahead and save. I did not expect him to be here. It's like, really? Okay, so there's only three of us against... Oops, come on. Alright, you guys can take care of those. I'll take care of the archers. Yeah. Well, you don't... I think you could have done better than that. Alright, this is... This is Enter, so he should be able to do a lot of damage. Oh, yeah. With that humongous thing? Oh, he gets two. Cool! Oh, don't you be shooting at me. Uh, let's take you down. Come on, Bert. Hold, hold up your end there. Let's go after this guy. Wow. 
And then they surrendered. Well, Berthold, you're not doing very well. I got 149 out of that. Oh, another battle right away. Berthold, you're going to die, you know. I hate to tell you that. Okay. Can we get rid of him? Oh, quit shooting at me. Yep, you're dead down. I knew you would. No, it's you and I. Darn it. Oh, no. I'm done. So it's up to you. Wow. Do one. Then you have another. Good thing you have a lot of armor. Alright, let's go up here and wham on him. Okay. I don't know what to tell you, Berthold. Damn it, Zinter the Iron Milestone is with them. We can't face them. Save yourselves! You were lucky this time, Fox, but you won't be safe for long. Um, not if we just get destroy you. I need to, um... I need to get him back up and running. And... I know I had those other potions. What happened? Look at all this stuff I ended up with. Oh, here they are. One for me. How about one for him? <sighs> wow. Do I dare go after them? Um. I want to. <clears throat> okay. These guys have got some shields on them. All right, bird hauled. Come on, hold your own there, boy. You're not very strong. Everyone picking on him. Yep, he's done. Again. All right. I probably should have went after the damn archer. Now he's gonna come over here on well on me. Yep, I'm done again. Nope, they're going after him. All right, get him out. Then him. Now I'm done again. Oh, he is a beast. He is a beast. Ooh, we got a silver cross. We need that. And I'm about ready to die. One more death and I'm done. Wow. Too bad they don't give us any potions. Oh, those work better. I never realized that. You seem to need them more than me. Um, give you some better equipment here because you're not doing well. Consecrated wing? You're not going to need that. I am. I cannot die again. Otherwise, the game is over. Oh. 
Wow. Oh, damn it. Berthold, what are you doing here, and what on earth is going on? I made a grave error, and I am trying to make amends. Please, let me explain. I owe you that much. Yes, you do. You turned on us. Your father's will was forged, and by none other than Werner von Sturch. Yeah, well, makes sense. He knew about everything that happened in Lin Lindstein in advance, and he won't... And he won Kurt over by promising to make him the real master there. After Kurt's death, his will came into my hands. And you believed his authentic authenticity at once? I find it hard to believe that you would accuse me so swiftly. I had other reasons not to trust you, but let me continue. Once Landstein fell into my family's hands, my brothers and I jumped at the chance to sell it at a profit to the Knights of Earthgans, who had grown rich quite suddenly. Your lands and castle by law belong to them now, and even the Chancellor's interference, should he decide to interfere, won't change anything. So you sold my lands off from underneath me, my titles. You bastard. So it seems I truly am a landless noblewoman after all. Soon after that, I realized that Sturch had deceived us and that it was he who had been behind the attack of Lindstein. I went to with, I went to Winfield to, in order to warn you. I couldn't find you or the Chancellor, but I met someone else. Okay, Zenter, so, I, okay, I, I'm trying to remember what happened here. He was the one that wanted to marry my mother, and she married my father instead. Okay. Okay. I found out from Zenter that the Chancellor had sent you to Trevor. I heard, <clears throat> I hurried here with him in the first, in the first, in the first tavern. <clears throat> Excuse me. I hurried here with him in the first tavern. I bumped into a merry company discussing the message of a letter that had been delivered by one of these revelers. So that's what happened. I didn't think he was even literate. He learned to read, and now he sticks his nose into other people's letters. I had a feeling that this somehow connected with you. That's why Zenter and I decided to get to the meeting point, and as it turns out, not in vain. So it was Sturch who organized the attack on Leinstein, was it? Well, now that I know the man better, it's not much of a surprise. His court is bundled up. His court is bundled up like a board, like a brood of vipers. No doubt he dealt with my family just the way he did with Window of Schottenhorst, Schottenfrost. I should have guessed it right away. Only one question remains: Why did he need this? I don't know. I told you what I know, and now it's time for me to go. The Chancellor hasn't, mustn't know I'm here. That would only bring misfortune down on both our heads. Berthold quickly bows and whistles to his horse. Berthold. <sighs> Wait, Berthold. You said you had reasons not to trust me. I want to know what... Berthold! Berthold looks at you for a moment, then spurs his horse and rides down the road. Don't try to catch him. Corinne, I must speak with you. So Berthold is gone with my gear that I gave him, which is fine. Um, and now we're talking to Zenter. You swore to take revenge, didn't you? To take revenge on all those behind your family's murder? Yes, but there's nothing I can do against the Chancellor. Yes, there is. Go to where old Grat used to stand. I'll wait there for you. Old Grat? Where is old Grat? Um... Old Grat. Go to Large Stone. Oh, so now I'm in hostile. Why did I everything become hostile? Oh. But I gotta go get my people. And who's this up here on the road ahead of me? was the beggar. I am going the wrong way. And I know I am. <clears throat> I am going the wrong way again! Okay. I need to be going this way. The cursed windmill should be to the south of me. Which it is. Okay. So, I am going the right way. Alright, here we go. I need to go pick up. Well, circumstances have cleared up slightly, but whatever 
but wherever I go, south, east, west, or north, I find unfinished business. To the east lies Winfield, where Werner Van Sturge holds powers in his, fil in his filthy hands. He wasn't the executioner, but the instigator of the murder of my family, and I swore to take revenge on everybody who was involved. I should deal with him first. In the south lies Landstein, but that is lost to me. I have nothing left to lose. I may be able to use the death of the Duke and the revolt that is rising to reclaim my lands with interest, or I could remain a landless noblewoman until the end of my life. Perhaps I will earn a claim to some other land. Boy, I've got several castles already, right? <laughs> so, um, close to the west is Ram Ramreg, the weasel. He has finally realized that I'm his enemy. There's nowhere to hide any longer. I'll have to openly oppose the Landgrave's forces. And finally in the north, the Landgrave himself awaits the, his judgment. Now I know that he's looking for an apple that is supposed to grant immortality, but is there much use in what I know? I should consult with Daniel. Perhaps together we'll find the right course of action. Having finished your speculations, you take a deep breath and raise your eyes to the sky. A bird of prey circles above the valley, of course. So, everything was just a travesty. Here we go, here's my people. Everything was just... Alright. Hmm. He leveled up while I was in there. Yes, he did. I I had heard that um, being in the garrisons actually leveled you up faster. I didn't believe that, but it seems like it to me now, because now he's a fencer. And I need to go heal myself. Since I'm this way, I can go ahead and gather tights from here. And there is a place to um, heal down here. I got all these people this way now. Hmm. If I look at all the people I have, if I lose any people, I now have garrisons. You know, I could have probably come down here to heal since this is mine, maybe. I don't know. Without paying, but... Okay, so heal me. Alright, and now I do have more equipment that I need to... I got all this stuff now, too, don't I? Did he give me... Oh, I did get my bridle back. Yep, I did. Um... So I do have some new equipment that I need to probably do, to disperse among my my um, members before I go to war. And a uh, good thing there's a chapel over here for me to heal. But anyway, if you enjoyed this episode, click like and uh, leave a comment. And when I come back, I will be attacking. Do I need to talk to Daniel first, though? Or should I go directly and start attacking everybody? Well, I know I'm going to run across people as I go over there. So I think I will talk to Daniel first. Um... Oh, I have to meet with the executioner. That's right. I forgot about that. Um, where was he? Is meeting with the executioner or guard? Oh, that's good over here anyway. Mm, is that? Oh, this is on the other side. Where is this next to? There is the out. So it's down. All right, so when we come back, I suppose I'm going to go down here first, because that looks like that's where I need to go. Why travel around when I don't need to? So if you enjoyed this episode, click like, leave a comment, subscribe, and I will see you later. Sahara out.